Next up are gum and mints with an extra boost. Hey Sharks, I'm Kent. And I'm Ryan. And we're the founders of Neuro from Los Angeles, California. Today, we're seeking $750,000 in exchange for 5% of the company. Ooh, okay. <laughs> when I met Kent in college, he was studying neuroscience and training with the Japanese Olympic judo team. And Ryan was studying chemistry and was captain of the cross country and track team. He's a second degree black belt in karate. Wow. And he's finished 12 marathons. He's also an artist that's done over 40 murals around the world. And he trains with the US Paralympic team. I guess if there's one word to describe us, it would be more, more, more. <laughs> Look, we like to push each other, but sometimes you just need that little extra boost. Coffee's great, but it doesn't fit in your pocket and you don't want to be running around with it. Oh, and don't get me started on energy drinks. We want a clean, balanced energy, something that can be taken anytime, anywhere. So that's why we created NeuroGum and NeuroMints for when you need just a little more. Using a patented cold compressed method, we used a blend of natural caffeine, plus L-theanine, and B6 and B12 vitamins in each piece. Each piece contains as much caffeine as half a cup of coffee. And since you absorb it through your mouth, it works way faster than drinks or supplements. But what about the sugar? Oh, ill, no. GMOs? <laughs> nope. All right, but is it vegan? Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> wow, it really is better than a cup of coffee. And one-tenth the price. So sharks, wake up. Don't get yourself stuck in a sticky situation. Now, who wants to chew on some NeuroGum and NeuroMints? Yeah, yeah some bring samples. it on. Let's, Let's do it. it. Bring it on. All right. There you go. Right, it's the mints on the top and cinnamon oh, and then thank you. mint flavor gum on the bottom. What do you want us to try first? <laughs> try the mints, the mints first. Are great. Oh, the mints. The, the yeah. sliding tin one. How long does it take to be effective? Five to 10 minutes. Are you already in stores? We are in stores, 5,500 locations. Tell us a little bit about your background. When I was in college, I was basically training four to five hours a day, trying to balance school with my social life, and my training was extremely difficult. So I was mixing supplements in my own room. And obviously we have chemists and formulators now to refine it, but that was essentially V0 of NeuroGum. Where did you meet Ryan? I met Kent in Japanese class. Uh, we automatically just hit it off, and then we became best friends. And uh, in 2009, uh, I was 19 years old, and I got into a really bad snowboarding accident. Oh, and no. the doctors told me I would never walk again. I spent the next two years and 15 surgeries in the hospital. Uh, I think that was definitely the lowest point in my life. And fortunately, I had the best friends, family in the world that helped me get back to where I wanted to be. You know, Kent and I just wanted to live more. We wanted to do everything that life had to offer. And that was really the catalyst to start NeuroGum. You know, life can change <laughs> in a in millisecond. A yeah. Kudos to you. I mean, that is just so impressive. I'm just trying to live life to the best. <laughs> well, here you are in Shark Tank. That's not bad. So based on your valuation, you must be doing a lot of business. We could do much better, but we have been doing a fantastic job this year. We're coming up to about four years from starting launching the company. Uh, this year, we'll do about 3.5 million in sales. Wow. Uh, we just entered retail. 3. Uh, starting what? 3.5 million in sales this year. What did you do last year? What was, yeah, what was uh, about 1.5 million. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> For the first three and a half years of the business, we only focused on online and um, Amazon. So about 33% of our customers in the last 12 months on our website have bought again. And on Amazon, it's about 21%. So the people who try our product really love it. Ryan, I got to tell you, I am so friggin' hyper <laughs> right now. Yeah. Oh, Yes. Let's go! I'm gonna take you on in judo, Ken. Deal, deal, deal. <laughs> so listen, walk me through your distribution because the danger with rising sales is that they may mask repeat sales. Daniel, there is a big reason why we're here because retail is terrifying and I think we need that Margin prowess, the ad allowances, the shelf talk, all those things that kind Listing of come into play. Listing fees. Like, it's crazy. So we're in 5,000 of the largest, uh, of the largest pharmacy chain in the United States. We're the number two best-selling product in memory focus in CVS. So we retail the product for about $3.95, $3.99, and, and it costs us 67 cents to make the NeuroGum and NeuroMints. And so our gross margins are high. What is your sales in just CVS? It's close to half a million so far. I'm assuming you're gonna tell me you're gonna do five million next year? I think we could do 10 million because we have uh, two large POs lined up with two, two of the largest airline Who are companies. They? Who are they? It's okay. Delta and JetBlue. So guys, some advice I wanna give you because you can grow yourself out of business if you're not cautious here. You can have an airline get very excited, try one order, you go really fast, and before you know it, they don't reorder. You just need to be careful with your growth. I love your authenticity. You remind me of my father. 
because people that survived the Holocaust, the overwhelming majority, of, they could not talk back about their past. And my dad found a way to talk about everything he went through, but to always be kind, to always be thankful, and to always see the positive. And I just see that in you, but it's just not a category that I feel I can connect to enough, and I'm out. But I love everything about you guys. I wish you the very, very best. Thank you so well, much. Daniel, we look up to you a tremendous amount and yeah. what you've done with Kind Bar. And you are like a, an inspiration to us. Yeah. Okay, boys, no, no more kumbaya. 750,000, what are you doing with the money? Uh, so the $750,000 is gonna go into the marketing efforts in retail because- uh, Marketing? As, uh, guys, why are you even talking about retail? You have a proven model. Why are you worth $15 million? because most CPG companies right now have been, have been getting acquired at three to 10X multiple on top line revenue. And that's what we're yeah, calculating well, on. But that doesn't have to do with where you're at right now. Okay, here's my challenge with it. The value of this company would have to grow by so much for me to make any money at my 5%. Right. I think what we're, we're, it, we're just getting started on the retail. And I think back to your point, why, why don't we start, just stay as an online business? is we want to really make this into a national brand. And it takes a lot of money to do, do that, my friend. Absolutely. We're trying to go from product to lifestyle, though. That's why we're spending our money into sampling and events, because that way we could connect with people. Look, you put yourself at risk when you sample. You are a supplement that's making claims. You talk about clarity, you talk about energy, you talk about focus. And so when people see that, that's what they're expecting and that's what they're hoping for. Even though you as a neuroscientist knows, no two people are gonna experience it the exact same way. Right. So if you sample, you put yourself at significant risk. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thanks, Mark. Listen, what you have achieved and overcome, I mean, there's no end to what you'll do. But for me right now, I'm kind of like this. When I'm like that, I have to say I'm out. So, you know, for me, there is a massive gaping hole of how are you going to scale this, but love you guys, love the success so far. For what I know, I'm willing to take a flyer on it. I'll give you a million dollars for 20%. It's a flyer. I think your valuation is stinky poo poo. It's ridiculous. But I like the premise of the business. I prefer the vertical aspect to it, that you found your market. That business alone could be good. Here's my offer. I'll give you 750. I want 50 cents in royalties off every unit till I recoup a million dollars. And I want the 5% equity now. Oh my Lord. Thank you for that offer. Gonna respond to you, Robert, first. Yeah. Um, do you wanna meet halfway at 10 million valuation? I'd go up to a seven million valuation. We can't, That's, we couldn't do we, seven. I'm so sorry, we can't, we can't do that. It would just, That's, yeah, I think it'd be unfair for the other investors that came in. They're not they sharks. Get, no, <laughs> but they, they are an extension of sharks our family. Sharks are expensive, we, my friend. Look, it's not your family, they're investors. And 100%. I think I think I bring more value. I mean, I love you guys, but I can't do it that, that right. I'm out. Okay. Yeah. Thank well you. then, <laughs> all roads lead back to Mr. Wonderful, as usual. And they all have potholes. What do you want to do? <laughs> oh. I, I, I don't think we could take your deal, Kevin. Kevin You're making a I, I big think, mistake, my friend. Uh, well, guys, thank you, you guys, very much. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Guys. Those were great guys. Love you, dude. Love you, too. <laughs> well. We're all about more, more, more. more. And the Sharks definitely wanted <laughs> too more, much more, more, more. <laughs> too much more, more, too more, 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 more. <laughs> Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Tank YouTube channel and ring the notification bell to keep up with everything that's bubbling in the tank.